Hi and welcome to another quick tip using Adobe Animate to make transitions in Premiere Pro. I don't know about you but I don't like those basic standard transitions you find in, uh, in edits from uh, films or uh, animations. Uh, well the cross dissolve, that one is pretty nice, that's obvious, uh, but the other ones uh, are uh, less creative. Uh, of course the most horrible one is the page peel or the page turn. Um, I don't know what the reason is why it's still in Premiere Pro but I think we can do better than that. So let's make something uh, creative when the basic cross dissolve doesn't work for you. We can use Adobe Animate for that reason. So let's uh, make a basic setup in Premiere Pro where the two shots are overlapping a bit. There we go. So this is my transition uh, space approximately. And then I'm gonna go to Adobe Animate where I did some uh, work before. Actually what I wanted to do is have some, uh, some bars sliding over uh, the video in Premiere Pro showing the other video on the back end. And I'm using a black and white for that reason. Um, so let's animate this, uh, this pre-made five layer scene. Let's make some motion tweens on these layers. And let's animate the middle one. Uh, let's say I want to have a time span of 15 frames for my movement. Hit F6 on my keyboard to make a keyframe. And go back to frame 1. Move it off screen. There we go. And it gives us a nice tween. I want this animation to start 10 frames later in time. And I'm going to do the same trick as well. So hit F6 to make a keyframe. Move it off screen. There we go. And same goes for up. Number 2. Let's put that one over here. And that one's going to be a bit shorter. And I can also retime it later on. So dragging it off the stage. And same goes for the layers below. So this is my animation now. And I can cut off the rest of the animation from frame 30. Is shift F5 to cut them all away. There we go. So this is my basic animation. It's uh, black and white so I can export it as a movie. Unfortunately Premiere Pro doesn't uh, import SWF files, Shockwave Flash files. So I'm going to export it as a video. Give it a name. Bars 2. Export. It gives me an... Uh, a QuickTime movie on my desktop in this case, which I'm going to import in Premiere Pro. And that gives us uh, this uh, animation. I'm going to make an out point and drag it on top of my video stack. Let's say about here. Of course it doesn't give us the right solution yet. I need to add a little effect onto this uh, video layer. So I'm going to go to the effects panel. Video effects keying and add a track mat to this one. So the track mat key. Double click or click and drag on top, on top of this video. Go to the effects control. Here's my track mat key. It asks me which video track I need. Uh, in this case it's on uh, video 3. Here's my track mat. It doesn't do anything. Well it shows me the other video again. Um, but it doesn't do anything because it's uh, set to mat alpha. And I need to change it to mat luma in this case. Because I didn't use an, uh, an alpha channel in my export. 
here's my self-made transition which is looking pretty nice I already did some extra work in animate I made a new scene scene number two with some ink splatters as well uh, which gives me this idea also black and white and because I rendered out the entire file it ran out both my scenes um, so when I go back to Premiere Pro and go to my uh, source monitor well, for sake of time let's delete this one go to the in point of my second transition make an in point here are my ink splatters until the end let's put it on top and that gives us this transition well the transition uh, works of course you can see that when I move my time slider before the transition starts it will leave everything black because my track mat needs to be reversed so let's reverse the track mat it will swap the colors the black and white and it gives us this solution so it's pretty cool to make your own transitions uh, in Adobe Animate CC and of course you can use any other tool as well to make your transitions inside of Photoshop or uh, After Effects but I found it was a pretty cool way to do it in Adobe uh, Animate CC so I hope that this way of making a transition is interesting for you. Um, well, enjoy making your, uh, your edits in Premiere Pro and make something uh, nice out of it. So bye bye for now and see you again next time.